The Okavango is the world's largest inland delta, and it's here that Benelli's American Safari host Steve McIlvain has enticed his boss Steve Otway for his first African hunt. I've been trying to get my boss, Steve Otway, uh, Benelli USA's general manager to Africa for probably the last six or seven years. And uh, every year he had an excuse or, or whatever, and he finally agreed to do it. This was uh, my first trip to Africa at age 60, I'm sorry to say. And I've known a lot of people that have come to Africa, and I've had opportunities over the last 30 years in the firearms business but I've never taken people up on their offer. I did a number of things to get ready for the trip. Uh, Joe Coogan told me that Harry Selby was gonna be here. Joe recommended a book, uh, Horn of the Hunter, which I read and it was fantastic and that got me fired up. Uh, the fact that we were gonna meet Harry Selby, um, I figured we were at opposite ends of the scale. He's seen it all and done it all and I'm the new kid on the block. Uh, to prepare for the trip, uh, I also read what I could on the animals uh, that I planned to hunt. There were a few last-minute changes. Steve Otway came and he hunted uh, Cape Buffalo on his first trip to Africa, so he didn't work his way up through the minors. He went straight to the major leagues. And not only that, he had uh, an experience, uh, to end all experiences. The Cape Buffalo is a member in good standing of the African Big Five. Of the Big Five, Elephant, lion, leopard, rhino, and buffalo. The lion has all the weapons, plus speed and strength to be the deadliest, while a wounded leopard is guaranteed to attack. A charging elephant strikes terror in the heart of anyone who has to stand up to it. And the hulking rhino is actually as nimble as a pony when it makes up its dim mind to do violence. The Cape Buffalo, though, usually wins election as the meanest and toughest of the Big Five. And the worst of the buffalo are the big bulls found alone or in small groups in water holes. Coming to Africa is not like going to hunt whitetail in North America, especially if you're hunting dangerous game. If they're coming after you, they're coming to kill you. Cape buffalo are aggressive, mean, in a sense I think that their whole life they're defending the herd, uh, the bulls are against lions, and it's just their attitude. It's one that uh, if they come after you, that buffalo's gonna kill you. They'll roll on you, kneel on you, you'll just be a bloody spot on the ground when they're done with you. The hunting dangerous game is not something to be taken lightly. We've had a number of guys uh, run over. I was one of them about 10 years ago, got hit by a Cape Buffalo that was wounded, followed up, um, shot at charging, but instead of shooting for the head, which you have to do on any charging game of, of the Big Five, I shot in the chest. It was a fatal shot, but it took five, six minutes to die. And in that, in that time frame, it got on me with an empty gun. And, I blew the disc in my back, L5, S1, and I've had three back surgeries uh, because of it. It's all experience, and experience is what makes good professional hunters. I've always said that the best professional hunter is 30 years old with 50 years experience. Uh, we spotted a pair uh, as we were going by boat and uh, pulled over and then began the stock. Yeah, you can hear them up there in the water. All right. Just sneak up onto this end hill, maybe get a shot. Just gotcha. be ready. Go ahead and get on him. Okay, just wait. I'm gonna... Yeah, he's on the left. You see him, Steve? Yeah, I'm getting some real bad sun flare in that scope. He, you can see his boss, and yep. you can kind of see his head above the grass. Okay. Yep, gotcha. He's, right. on, he's the one on the left. All righty. Okay. When you're ready, go ahead and take it. Okay. Okay, he's, he's hit. He threw his head. He's hit. The two most discouraging words in Africa are wounded okay. buffalo. Vanilla USA Steve Otway has hit a Cape Buffalo, but not hard enough to drop him. Now, Otway and P.H. Jeff Rand have a duty to fulfill to track the bull down. Yeah, I knew he was hit, not really sure where at that point. Um, followed up, found some blood, and uh, started tracking. Now the games begin. They tracked it for the next seven, eight hours walking through chest high water, through thickets and, and all kinds of thorns and, and everything else. Don't, you guys don't look at the ground. I want you looking out in the direction he's heading east. 
<laughs> Not much. The small amount of color tell the trackers and ran it's muscle blood. It looks like it's just the one. They've split up, so the one. So if we see him, just get on it, and I'll tell you where to shoot. I was absolutely amazed at what the trackers could do. We went up on an island, back in the water, up on an island, back in the water. Uh, these guys were, were tracking the animal every step of the way. Uh, they were tracking him underwater. You could see the footprints, and I, I remember one comment Jeff made. He said, we're getting closer because there's still uh, mud by the footprints. It hadn't settled out yet. Uh, all the little things that come naturally to them and are just, you know, amazing to me. Turned out to be a long day. We tracked him for six and a half hours. We found three different places uh, where we where bled. We pretty much decided he was hit in the, in the neck and uh, probably wasn't going to die from that uh, injury anytime soon. Uh, so we kept following them up about uh, 2.30 that afternoon. Uh, trackers, they carried on searching for the tracks to see if they'd come off this island or not. They hadn't. They went back to a thicket that we had passed uh, within 20 yards. And uh, one tracker climbed up a tree and saw the, the buffalo laying down. So OT came and called us, and uh, we, we followed up slowly, not really knowing what we were getting into. You see, he's, he's laying down there, just up here. See that tree there? Just to the right of it. Just go real quiet. But be ready. It's the classic and welcome death bellow of a Cape Buffalo. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That was a heck of a walk in the park. Yeah. You know, if, if he'd got to here, he was going to be just too close, but... Uh... <sighs> so it was quite an experience for Steve. Steve uh, is, is laughing and uh, just talking uh, and telling stories uh, of an absolute adventure of a lifetime. Okay. <laughs> sure. He heard us and uh, he just came for us and uh, I mean we dropped him at eight paces and uh, yeah it was pretty it was thick 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 stuff and uh, you know you just hear him coming you see the bushes shaking and yeah. uh, well he took an eight inch piece of tree off on the way through so I think he was kind of determined to get to us oh yeah there's no I doubt I think was... it was probably you he didn't like <laughs> he was coming all the way there's no <laughs> doubt about that so I mean that's uh, that's what it's all about. It was fantastic. <laughs> Vanilla USA General Manager Steve Otwe has given himself up to the experience of Africa, and it's a certainty that this will not be the last time.